Hello friends, Mercedes is gearing up for the premiere of the new generation E-Class. In today's issue, I decided to collect all the information available about the new E-Class from appearance to the date of the premiere, which Mercedes has already published. Officially, Mercedes has not yet shown what the new body of the business sedan will look like, but thanks to Insider's several pictures have been leaked to the network by which you can evaluate the appearance of the new E-Class. The novelty will receive a characteristic radiator grill with three horizontal slats and unique front optics. The company decided to slightly diversify its lineup and not turn the E-Class into a reduced S-Class. Everything is simpler with the interior. The company has already revealed it a long time ago and fully showed all the features of the future product. All top-end configurations of the novelty will receive three screens at once. The fashion for an additional screen for the front passenger has also affected petrol Mercedes. There is only one practical benefit from such a solution. The front passenger can act as a navigator or use the screen for entertainment. You won't surprise anyone with screens now. Cheaper models also have them, so Mercedes decided to offer something more interesting. This is an application store. In short, it will be a full-fledged analog of the Play Market and the App Store, only built into your car. It will be both useful applications and entertaining, such as games, social networks, and much more. To integrate this entire system, the company has developed a new operating system through which the car will be updated, and what is most unpleasant, Mercedes implements the function of a monthly subscription to certain car options. In the future, this virus will hit other models of the company, as the Germans are placing a big bet on this market sector. Enough about the sad, let's move on to the pleasant. Unlike the new 5th series that debuts May 23rd and will be based on the old CLAR platform, the E-Class will get a completely new platform from the current S-Class, adaptive dampers will become the norm, and an all-wheel drive chassis will be available as an option. The Novelty will receive a new line of engines consisting of a 3-liter inline turbo diesel of the OM654 series and a 3-liter inline petrol turbo 6. All engines, without exception, will receive a 48-volt starter alternator. This is a mandatory attribute for modern models. The entire list of power plants is currently unknown. It is only known that the Novelty will receive a 3-liter gasoline 6 with a capacity of 362 horsepower. The same volume of a turbo diesel with a capacity of almost 300 forces will be available. The company also places great emphasis on plug-in hybrids. The new E-Class will have several. One of them will be a 2-liter turbo 4, paired with an electric motor. Such an installation will produce more than 320 forces. The top modification S580E with a 3-liter petrol unit and an electric motor will also be available. Its power will be an impressive 510 forces. The flagship model line of the new E-Class will traditionally be the E63 AMG. According to the latest data, the novelty will receive a completely new power plant consisting of a 3-liter inline turbo 6 paired with an electric motor. Its power will be 750 50 forces and torque 1000 newton meters the new e63 amg will spend about three seconds on the first hundred which is good news well now the most important thing is that the premiere of the new east class will take place on april 25th so mark this day in red so as not to miss such an important event well friends for today i have everyone subscribed to our channel so as not to miss new videos and also do not forget about the instagram page available via the link in the description good Good luck everyone and see you soon.